Matt uses Sure. T uses Old Spice. No zit cream. Lucky kid. Floral air freshener. Doesn't matter. When was the last time you heard of a teenage boy using air freshener? Per shampoo. Um, Johnson's over here. <laughs> Matt's mom would make him use air freshener. There are limits to a mother's power. Even hers. Just check. Negative on the floral. Matt's ALTs are up to 800. If they get any higher, we can toss his liver. Yeah. No matches on flea powder or underarm deodorant. Or any other kind of deodorant. What about shampoo? No to shampoo. Bar soap. Dish soap. Dish detergent. How about laundry detergent? Maybe they both washed their clothes this morning. I'll check. You know, if we cure Matt, he can use his close brush with death on his college essays. <laughs> Admission guys love that stuff. That's how you got in, right? Jailhouse diary. Uh, TKO. TKO. Liquid? Liquid, 128 ounces. 128. Yellow jug. Special. Environmentally safe formula. It's the same. Bring in the detergent. So the detergent was contaminated with pesticides? Which soaked into their clothes and got absorbed into their skin. Hi. Uh, listen, the clothes your son wore today, he washed them this morning, right? What? Nice, respectful Asian kid does the laundry. My wife said he didn't. Well, then I'm betting he washed them last night without you knowing. He doesn't even know how to turn on the machine. And those clothes were new. Nobody washed them. His clothes are all new. The ones he wore today, yes, never washed. Now what? What about Matt's clothes? Were they new? Uh, they're ready old jeans, I think. They've been bagged and taken downstairs. Davis. Yep, they're Matt's. And they're old. And yet the label isn't faded in the slightest. Fake old. Hundred dollars for the homeless look. What, kids aren't pretentious in England? She was wearing a different brand. How could they both have been contaminated? That is a question for the ages. I Meantime, get these tested. I never bother to wash new clothes before I wear them. Right. Your wife does. She likes you feeling nice and comfortable. Hey, I'm a man. I don't have time for laundry. I'm saving lives here. No, she doesn't wash them either. So your skin absorbs a little dye, the odd chemical here and there? Well, you know me, Mr. Living on the Edge. Judging by the self-importance of your strut, you have identified the chemical in question. Fostering. Hit him with the hydrolase. She's parents said yes, but mighty mom said no. She's gonna feel like a million bucks when she lives and her son dies. Sent Cameron. She's the only one of you who's managed to talk her into anything. Not this time. Matt's mom won't make a move until she gets that opinion from the CDC. <laughs> Godot would be faster. What is this? Thought I'd hang out. In case you change your mind. I will do everything. And I could give Matt the medicine right away. Don't worry, I've got time. The CDC promised they'd call. Yeah, I'm sure they will. 
Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. It takes time to review faxed records. And they'll probably tell you they can't make a decision based on faxed records. This is Susie. She's never gonna marry him. No money. What makes you think you're right this time? Same reason as last time. If you wanna see how the other kid does first, that's okay. I'd help you. Although there's a real good chance that... What? Matt might kick off? It's a little blunt. I was gonna say run out of time, or just kind of let my voice trail off. Hello? Yes, this is Margot Davis. But you have his records. I sent them. Yes, I understand. They can't help me. They haven't seen him. They can't make a decision Give it to him. with it. CDC is unable to give an opinion at his time, and we're going to have a doctor in your area next week. You fooled her with that? So I'm going to be cured? As long as you don't wear any more poison pants. I'm sorry, Mom. I knew the pants were stolen. They were only five bucks. You're going to be hell, aren't you? Oh, honey. I'm just glad you're alive. Let's get you home so you can rest. Maybe I am too hard on you. You don't have to make up that test till next week. You could stay in bed and work on your applications. Some guy was selling pants off the back of his truck near the school. When he wasn't busy as a clothing entrepreneur, he did day labor at a cornfield out of Route 1. He used the same truck for both jobs. So he spilled pesticide on the pants and was too lazy to clean up. The real question is, why are you still here? Why aren't you out there making up with the joyful mother? <sighs> why would I do that? No reason at all. If you don't care about her or her son. Oh, Dr. House. The CDC called. Again. Oops. Who are those guys? Oh, they're the arrogant jerks that saved your life. 